Hello guys, welcome to my channel, I hope everything is ok in your life. In this video, I will quickly explain how to build failsec. Before we jump into the video, I must clarify that I am not a professional who earns money from enhancing items. Therefore, I will share the methods that are suitable for me and that I have developed with you. You can decide whether my methods are applicable based on the server you play on and the time. Let's get started. First and foremost, let's quickly explain what a failsec is. In BDO, when you fail to enhance your item, the game gives you a fail stack depending on the item level. The total of these failures results in your success rate. On the other hand, with the new PD system that will be added to the game in the future, the aim is to reward failures even more. A system will be added to the game to guarantee upgrading an item after a certain number based on the item grade and level. You will be able to see this on the top right of the upgrade screen. Items will have their own categories and the accessories will be independent of each other. I will make a video with more details in the coming days about this PD system. So, in other words, how we can obtain a fail stack that will be used to obtain another valuable items by controlling our fails. Yes, you heard right, we will control our fails and we will increase it. Before we delve into this, I'm currently applying the values you see on the screen by adjusting them according to my experience over time. Give or take a few. You are not obligated to use them exactly as shown. Let's start with Reblood part. Reblood item is a white level armor type sold by the Valia Blacksmith. By the way, Reblood is not mandatory. You can use any type of white level that you can buy from weapon shop in Velia. You can buy these white items and prepare a set for yourself as you see in my inventory. With this set, we will gradually increase small fail stacks up to 80 to 100 fail stacks. When I try duo, I start at 20 ish fail stack and stop around 35 ish. For try level, you can start at 30 ish fail stack and stop at 50 ish fail stack. I'm trying Ted from 50 ish fail stack up to 90 fail stack. If I don't get Ted by 90, I save this fail stack for later use. If I succeed in getting that, I set it aside and use it for values beyond 120. I usually use it between 120 to 150 and 60. So how can I turn the nearly 90 fail stacks then on the side into 110? They are actually too low for pen red blood and it might be a little bit waste. We actively use this method on server Mina. That's why the scorching sun shot price is always close to maximum. In other servers, it stays at minimum value in thousands on marketplace. Who knows, maybe sales could increase after this video. With the 90 fail stack we have, we try duo gutterite until we reach 100 and fail stack. After 110, if you have them, you can use your Ted Riblats and reach 150 or maybe 160. If you don't have them, you can save the fail stack and use it as a Ted accessory fail stack, or you can use it for Ted Black Star method. I'm trying to reach 190 fail stack with Ted Black Star from 110 or 120 or even more fail stacks. The value of 190 is a turning point for me because at this point you have spent quite a lot of money on this fail stack and if you upgrade to that black star it will be a success above its value. On the other hand 190 fail stack is the ideal fail stack for try fallen god armor item giving you a full 10% chance. If you have a value you need before reaching 190 fail stack, you can stop whenever you want. After 190, if you want to take a risk, you can try Ted Black Star up to 210, but I do not recommend it. After 210, maybe 220, you can click to pen Black Star and go up to 240. 240 is the ideal fail stack for Ted Fallen God armors, pen Black Stars, pen Gatherides, and many other pen accessories, except the Baraka. The most reasonable method for advancing a fail stack at 240 stage is to click on Raw Pen Black Star. However, I think even this surpasses its value after 270. You have used lots of resources and time to obtain this fail stack, and in a possible situation, when you click Pen Black Star, the silver you will lose may not cover the money and the time you invested. Therefore, when you reach 270 fail stack, I think you can use the hunger items. You can see the details on the screen right now. One is of high quality and the other is low quality. The low quality one is given in the game events and you can see on the screen how many fail stack values it gives at which fail stack levels. The green one is obtained from Ulikita spots. The value related to this are also on the screen. 
After 270, the most logical way to guarantee the enhancement of fail stack with these items is through the devour method. After reaching 290, you will reach the ideal fail stack for Pendebreka. At least, it is for me ideal and it will give you a 15% chance. You can calculate the devour process using the enhancing simulator on the Garmoth website. It will automatically calculate for you based on the base fail stack value. Also, you can use this simulator for your basic fail stack calculations. With this way, you can see how many devour items you need to use to obtain how many base fail stacks. Alright, I have tried to share my own fail stack building method with you to the best of my ability. If you would like to share your own method, please explain it in details in the comment section. This could be very very helpful for new players and returning players in the game. Additionally, next week I will try to create a quick guide related with the new PD system. For the final part, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel and for the continuity of video contents, share this video on your Discord channels. I hope you guys like my contents, do not forget, video is just a game, have a nice game.